Hello, and thanks for joining us for our weekly devotional. Hopefully you can be uplifted by the time that we're done. A conductor rushed into the room where the orchestra was waiting to begin rehearsal, and he said, please get your pencils out so we can make some changes to this score. He said the first bars are in 3-4 time and not 4-4 time as it's written. Next, the fifth bar, change it to 7-8, and this remains to the end. Now, in bar 7, we lower the pitch a half a step. And in bar 13, lower the pitch one whole step, and this will remain till the end. Thank you. Now let us begin. The soprano soloist was standing there watching all of this. She said, Maestro, what would you like me to change? He looked at her and said, Nothing, madam. Sing it just like you did yesterday. When we vary from the standard, there are two things we can do. We can alter our lives to meet the standard, or we can alter the standard and expect everyone else to meet this new flawed standard. The spiritual application is very apparent here. What we should do when someone is, is teaching, not according to God's will, but teaching a false gospel, we need to challenge them. We need to hold them to the standard and require them to comply. Or we can attempt to change the standard, but we all know what the result of that will be. Really, there is no choice. The standard cannot change. Breaking the scale doesn't change our weight. Breaking the mirror doesn't change the way that we look. And changing or ignoring God's word won't make sinful behavior acceptable. Jesus said in his great prayer in John chapter 17 and verse 17, Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. And we need to remember that God's word is truth. And Peter said in 1 Peter 1 25, but the word of the Lord remains forever. This reminds us that it's solid and it doesn't change. Friends, the word of God is the standard we need to live by. It cannot be changed. As Peter says, it remains forever. Let us pray. Holy God and Father, as we approach your throne, we thank you for giving us your word to guide our lives, for never changing it, and we always know what the standard is. We thank you, Father, for the great love you shower upon us and allowing us to be able to serve you and be, be your children. We thank you for Jesus going to the cross and shedding his blood for our sins. All this we read in your word, and we know that it will never change because it is the standard. Help us, Father, to always live our lives according to that standard and not try to change it, not try to justify when we're wrong, and not try to allow people to manipulate us and let us always be courageous to, to challenge those who aren't living by the standard, but to do it in love and with gentleness. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your word. It's through Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.